Did you see four-letter PIN Democrats Ward as State of the Union? Here's the meaning behind them by Robert Rich Politics, U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. Democrats protested President Donald Trump's first State of the Union address in a variety of ways, including a four-letter PIN that some wore to the historical event. We now know the meaning behind this little accessory. The left is uh, really making a spectacle of themselves these days using a Twitter hashtag or attempting to garner enough likes on Facebook to account for something in real life. It's safe to say that they're more about optics than actually helping the American people. In fact, they demonstrated just that during the most recent State of the Union address where many Democrats sought different ways to protect President Donald Trump with some not showing up at all and others even storming out while screaming the F word, the uh, party officially made a national embarrassment of itself. However, there's uh, one portion of the Democrat Party that uh, decided to protest in a way that was a bit different than all the rest. As it turns out, a few ordered a bunch of pins bearing just four letters and wore them to the State of the Union. Now we know the meaning behind the accessory. Worn by some members of the Congressional Black Caucus, the pin simply bore the letters R-E-C-Y. Come to find out, R-E-C-Y is actually the first name of Reese Taylor, a black woman who was kidnapped and raped by six white uh, men back in 1945, uh, 44, excuse me. Yes, 1944, the year the president they were protesting turned a whopping two years old. Uh, so now you're probably wondering how something from 1944 has uh, anything to do with Donald Trump. You're not alone. Blackout. Uh, House Democrats pose for a photo wearing all black uh, in support of the hashtag MeToo movement for the State of the Union address. Many with pins saying Ari Reese after Reese Taylor, an African-American woman who fought for justice after a 1944 rape. What is that? How come it's not playing? Anyway, a uh, black woman raped by six white boys in 1940 Alabama. Uh, Taylor long sought justice but never got it. Two different grand juries failed to bring an indictment against the young men. Although the Alabama legislator, uh, late legislature uh, later issued her an apology in 2011, ABC News reports. Sadly, the hard men responsible were never jailed, but it looks like some Democrats in Congress want us to believe that they're fighting for the uh, women's justice, even though she died at the age of 97 on December 29, 2017, which means her attackers are all likely long gone too. Although it's a noble cause, it looks like Democrats are doing it for the wrong reasons. <laughs> really? Uh, rather than educate Americans in order to ensure that it never happens again, Democrats are using Reese Taylor's uh, story to attack President Donald Trump. Throwing around the usual names like racist, the pathetic left is all, uh, actually trying to tie this Horrific event to the president. Again, who was two when this happened? And uh, you didn't hear a peep about this injustice for the last seven decades, did you? But now that the deceased woman can be used as a political prop, the Democratic Party seems to care all of a sudden. I hope that at uh, tomorrow's State of the Union, people see our Reese Taylor pins and uh, remember that her story represents that of many marginalized women who have spoken up and have long been ignored. I'm so honored that Rose is my guest. Her aunt is a testament to the resilience of black women. Well, not to diss the, what happened to this lady, but you, you know, how long ago was this? Before the event, U.S. Representative Bonnie Watson Coleman says that she and her team purchased 200 pins to hand out before the State of the Union and hope to have as many people as possible wear them in protest of Trump. Is this crazy or what? 
Trump came into the office uh, as a racist, Coleman said, the New Yorker. He didn't even know what the Black Caucus was. As one would imagine, many people have uh, been left wondering why, and rightfully so. After all, Trump never raped anyone, and the president has never endorsed rape either. Along with that, he would likely be among the first to speak out and say that w this was wrong and that the monsters responsible deserve the death penalty, even though they're probably dead a long time ago. It is disgusting that Democrats are actually using this woman and her story now to bash Trump in a way that is unjustified, absolutely. Just because you say someone is a racist doesn't automatically make it true. And considering what the president has been doing for the black community, I'd say people like Coleman need to adjust their attitudes. At the end of the day, America is supposed to ensure equality for all. That said, why do we even have a Congressional Black Caucus? Could you imagine what would happen if someone were to say they wanted a Congressional White Caucus to protect the interests of Caucasian Americans? My guess is that there would be nationwide outrage. We are all Americans, and it's high time that everyone starts acting like it. Furthermore, Democrats better stop with crap like this before no one wants anything to do with them. Wheeling out a dead rape victim to be used as a political prop is as despicable as it gets, and the fact that anyone thought this was appropriate is beyond unacceptable. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're talking, like, what? Anyway, give it a break, Democrats. You are losers, and you are fickle, and you are retarded. Let's just put it that way. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.